In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a simple little quick snap setup that you can use out of the trips tied in formation out of the play PA counter go. Now this is a really, really nice little route combo. And with the way that you can throw crossers this year, it makes this a really, really effective concept. We're in the New England Patriots playbook. The trips tied in is the formation we'll be taking a look at. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, my name's Cody. Hope you subscribe. We do videos like this every single day that can basically help you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking for tips and tricks and strategies uh, as to how you can become better at this game, I would encourage you to click the subscribe button. Also, if you are interested in getting my full uh, nickel 335 or I'm sorry, not nickel 35, but uh, that's also in there as well. But if you're interested in getting my full uh, trips tied in offensive ebook, that's going to be linked down in the description. You can get that. In addition to that, you'll also be able to get access to all of my Madden 22 strategy guides and weekly pro tips by joining our Patreon. Our Patreon, uh, literally, it's all access included. Uh, so you get literally everything, all the tips, all the ebooks. We've got over 25 offensive and defensive ebooks and we're going to be adding a lot to that over the course of the next couple of weeks so if you want to sign up for that you get everything link is in the description I want to go over this play though you do want to be on the wide side of the field you don't need hot rod master for this concept um you do want to be on the wide side of the field so you want your trips to the wide side of the field for this i think it works a little better that way and it's really simple literally all we're going to do is drag our tight end now um, why I like to drag my tight end, I love to drag my tight end because it's going to force my opponent to have a hard flat over here on this left side of the screen. So I'm going to show you that was a quarter flat zone. I'm going to go ahead and go to a cover three. Um, and we're going to basically have a high low here on the left side. Now, one thing you can do is if you like to throw deep post routes, you can put Mike Evans on a skinny post if you want to. Um, that's going to keep the read basically the same, and it's going to give us a little bit better of a pull route for our crosser, but you can also leave this just vertical fade on there if you want to as well. This is a curl flat zone out of cover three. Notice how it falls back. What I really like about this, and this is something that I think is really underrated about trips tied in, is whenever you use this tight end drag, it really does force your opponent to have to hard flat. Um, I'm gonna audible over here to the Tampa two. And what I want you to see about this Tampa two here is you're gonna notice that the vertical hook will do a decent job, but because it gets pulled back, the cloud pulls back. And you see, this is just a nice, easy 10 to 15 yards every single time if they don't have a hard flat on that side of the field. So let's say, that they start to hard flat on that side of the field. So we're just gonna shade our coverage down. What you're gonna notice here is that this deep out route, is gonna go about 15 yards if you pass lead that up. Against a hard flat, they're not gonna be able to play that. So it's an easy little pass lead over the top uh, for this out route. So again, I'm just gonna shade my coverage down. The yellows and the, and the flat will do a really good job on this tight end drag, but you'll notice that that out route, pass lead that up field, and you see how good of a route that is. Now, this is also something, there's been a kind of a shift in the competitive scene and you're seeing a lot of this right here. So this is a very popular adjustment you're gonna see. You're gonna see these two quarter zones. They're gonna basically be in man coverage on Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. And then they're gonna have this flat zone here to take away um, Scotty Miller. Now, a lot of times what you'll see is this guy right here, they'll either blitz him or he could be in a vertical hook. This guy will probably be in a curl flat for any backside slants. And then they're gonna use her like a tight end post or something like that. So what you'll see with this concept, this is where this concept becomes fairly decent. And what you'll see here is again, the simple little drag, but this out route is a nice little rounded out route that's going to beat me into the outside, as you can see right there. Got kind of a random ca uh, catch tackle, but I'll show that to you again. And again, this is a vertical hook, so you know, a lot of times they will send, they would literally just blitz you um, at this point in the year, just the way people are defending trips. A lot of people are just blitzing out of this look right here, which they can. Um, you have good pass protection with this also. Little pro tip that we talked about in our Patreon this week. Um, we actually taught you how to pick up all the meta blitzes with PA Counter Go. So if you want to get that video, that's also in our Patreon. So you want to check that out again, link is in the description. But this is a great little pass protection as well. Anyways, all that to say, what you're gonna see here is again, if they run man, a lot of times they're gonna you're gonna get that throw right there to the sideline for an easy completion. 
So that's male. So how do they stop this? Well, the best way that they can stop this is through double flatting. And this is where it's going to be difficult, okay? Because what they're gonna do to try to stop this is they're going to put um, this guy in a cloud, they're gonna put this guy in a hard flat, and then they're gonna use her kind of right in here, okay? And this is where this play can become really powerful because they have to carry the drag across the formation. That's kind of how it has to be defended. So then what you're gonna be able to do with this crosser is this crosser, you'll see, because it runs such a sharp angle, you can actually pass lead that down and outside against a cover three and it will be very effective. Now this is also one of the reasons why I really do like to put this skinny post uh, to Mike Evans, because you're still gonna pull everything vertically um, vertically with this so here's an example again we're gonna use two cloud flats now over here typically what you're gonna get is a deep half um, and you're gonna get a cloud flat from this guy if you get this coverage and again we just got to imagine that they're gonna be rolling with the tight end otherwise you just hit your tight end but what you'll see here is that this deep half will get pulled back by that skinny post now another thing that's really adv advantageous if you can put a skinny post out there again you don't have to but if you can um, one of the things that I'll show you real quick here is another little tactic that you'll get is you'll get a nice little cover two coverage with a double flat over here and their user in the middle of the field. So their user are, they're going to probably have to make a choice between the tight end or the, the crosser and this skinny post. And so what you'll see here is this deep skinny post against cover two. I don't know what the, the vert hook played crazy there, but anyways, you see the idea it's wide open. I don't know why that vert hook matched it, um, but let me show you that one more time. So again, we'll just use um, we'll just use a basic Tampa to, uh, and again, they're gonna have to kind of double flat, and they're gonna have to still carry that tight end right off the, the break. But what you'll see here is a lot of times this skinny post will torch cover two. And again, a lot of times their mid reads not gonna be on the field. Most people take that off. And even if it is on the field, if you have a good player, you can typically throw it over the top of the mid read, but notice how the deep half on the right side really dumbs out with this concept. So real simple, um, this out route is kind of like a, it used to be a little better than it honestly is right now, but this is still a really good out route to Scotty Miller. And if you can put this little drag right here, it creates this kind of natural little high low between the two of them. And this drag is super underrated. Most people don't realize how good that drag really is. And then last little thing that I wanna to show today is zone drops. I didn't talk about zone drops yet, but I do wanna speak just briefly about them. So let's say that they do something like this, like a 25, 10, and five, kind of trying to, you know, if you will, split the difference between your out route and your tight end route. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then they have those deep clouds for the crosser. So this is gonna get interesting, but basically, Again, they're still gonna have to carry this tight end route. They're still gonna have to play the crosser in the seam. What you're gonna see on this left side is this 10 yard purple. Um, it really, it, it can play that out route as you can see right there. But the out route is still going to do a really good job at pulling that purple back so that I can throw my drag. So if you think about the user, now it's almost gonna turn into kind of like a shallow cross concept, if you will. But essentially, they're gonna have to choose between the crosser and the drag. If they go with the, the drag, then you can throw that and cut it up field for an easy, you know, five to 10 yards. You can also, if you want to, just do an out or an in route to the tight end, but I think that's a little bit too delayed. And then if they pair this with a five yard yellow zone, like say cover three, this is probably gonna defend it the best, but notice that that purple is still susceptible to that drag and you can truck right up field real easily. And then last thing that I wanna show about Mabel coverage, let's say that they, um, you know, they're like, we're not giving up the, we're not giving up the tight end drag. We will not give up the tight end drag. Whatever we do, we're not giving up the tight end drag. That's where this crosser is really good. So you're gonna throw kind of right in there and you wanna aggressive catch that. And as you can see, that's gonna get open before it gets across the formation to the cloud flats. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Real simple route combination, but one of my favorite ones in Madden right now. Just really good for where the meta is going, especially in terms of how a lot of players are defending trips tied in. This is a great route combination for you. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about the Trips Tied In offense, my full ebook updated version of it is in our Patreon. You get everything by joining the Patreon, all my defenses, all my offensive ebooks, and it's only $10 to sign up. There's a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, and again, it gets you access to everything. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there for you.